What is cooking everybody sitting in front of me right now is one of the biggest POS's in this game in my opinion But you know what some people love it and then there are people like me that hate it We're gonna be doing an updated class setup for the old MG 34 light machine gun I don't know this thing has a phenomenal rate of fire and you can set it up to be an absolute laser But just, I don't know I mean it we just don't get along too well But anyways, we're gonna be kind of equipped in this thing to run in like regular multiplayer just that's a discrepancy for anybody that might be new to the channel. If you're looking for like a setup to run this in Warzone, you could obviously, you know, transfer this over. But this would not be my ideal setup for this gun for Warzone. But we're going to be starting off with the muzzle. And we're actually going to be throwing on the tactical suppressor. Now this right here ends up being like my fifth attachment that you can kind of interchange depending on what you're doing. Uh, because, I mean, I like to run this gun uh, without a suppressor just fine. It's just about having that added benefit. And for regular multiplayer, you really don't need no bump and range or anything. So the, the monolithic suppressor, just there, there's not a lot of benefit. And just in terms of how it feels in-game, I feel like the tactical suppressor has a much better... Um, not no better user experience whenever you're actually using it in game and i tried using the stippled grip tape on this instead of the suppressor or instead of any muzzle attachment but i could not notice any improvement in terms of the actual in-game performance of the ads time whether it's sprint fire speed or just you know standing still whatever but we definitely got to take and chop off the stock on this thing to get some noticeable mobility then go up to the barrel and go down to the fss elite so you get a little bit better ads time but it doesn't throw your accuracy and stuff off nearly as bad as the stubby does the stubby like I mean, maybe if you're on shipment or something, you could rock and roll with that stubby barrel, but otherwise, it's just, it's kind of, it's it's useless in my opinion for this gun. Then, we definitely want to throw on the 100 round uh, belt, which is basically just, you know, a drum mag belt design. And you want to do that because this thing has a crazy high rate of fire, especially, I mean, just in terms of the LMG class. So, you'll burn through that standard 50 round belt mag that's on there, uh, you know, stock. Then we're going to go finally to underbarrel throw on the commando foregrip. You could definitely rock with the ranger foregrip. And, uh, you know, that's what I'd recommend if you don't mind having a slightly slower ADS time. It's just, I know a lot of people I've seen in the comments and stuff definitely want more of a... Uh, they they want they're they're heavy focused on you know having a, a good a, a quicker ads time if possible and i understand that so there you go i mean this thing it's a mean looking gun like i mean i think it's got a great it's got a great look to it especially like you know once you have it platinum gold or damascus either way the regular finish on it's kind of trash because it's meant to be like you know old world war ii just recycled uh, light machine gun but there you have it. Before we hop in a match, we will look at a full class rundown. We got the MG34 set up the way I just showed you guys. We got our Renetti Burst uh, set up in our secondary for perks. We got EOD Ghost and Tune Up for a Lethal. We got a Frag Grenade and for a Tactical, we got a Stun Grenade. Okay, so we got Domination still in that Shootout's 24-7 playlist. And I think Domination is actually going to be a pretty solid game mode to rock with this in. I mean, it's, you know, it's LMG, just gives the press and fire. We ain't really going to be pushing and playing it too hard. Let's double check a little something right here. So we're riding about 60, 70. Okay, I can rock with that. So, I mean, mounting up is another big thing you're going to you're gonna want to do with this. Come on, guy, you're up there. Is he on the stairs? Okay, teammates rocking his world. We'll just pop a little grenade up there because I feel like it's already looking like these guys are going to be like chilling off as hardcore. This thing does have a very good hip fire with like no laser. And uh, I mean, it's a very accurate gun. And I mean, I don't want to talk trash on it just for the sheer fact that like I know that it's not a bad gun. There's just something I don't like about it. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like whenever I was doing uh, like on the Damascus grind and, and working on all that kind of stuff, like it, uh, it just I just had some issues with it and I think it was just more or less just personal uh, It just didn't fit my play style and I had a hard time adapting to how I needed to play with it now that I've you know I'm well versed in all the weapons on this game Then I mean I kind of have a, a more of an appreciation for it Let's see if we can slide out on this guy drop down pop him boom baby ain't nothing but a thing Let's get these guys. He's just gonna come around and just shoot me right double C4 really appreciate that mate Really appreciate that gotta love dying to explosives Especially when you got EOD, but just because they hit you with that double tap, it don't do you no good. I mean, that's... Oh, hello. Hello? 
did it. I thought I had like three teammates chilling right there on that little overlook, but I guess not. Either that or, well, you know what he probably did. He probably see for it all them to death too. So, got people chilling in the junkyard. Let's see if we can return some of the explosive favor over there. What do we do? That's a teammate. Okay, I, I got to turn my game audio back up. I got my game audio down like negative 10 for some reason. It's where I'd done, uh, it's where I was playing GTA 5 and I kept having all these audio issues with it. And I just like, I, was, I finally said, <gasps> I finally said, screw it. I just got shot through flipping plywood. Gotta love it. My our teammate, though, just went off. He, like, I was at the top of the thing. He just leapfrogged me with 11 kills. Okay, got a kid past me with four kills. Let's just... Okay, I'm gonna, I'm about to kind of copy what this guy's got going. We're gonna drop down, pop him. We got this fella right around the corner. I'm gonna hit him with a door. Okay, I didn't... I thought I had my single Renetti set up in this, so I kind of lied to y'all. Like, apparently, I got my... Uh, my dual, I thought I noticed that the compensator wasn't on the front. That should have been a dead giveaway. So normally you can, even with this shorter barrel on there, you can compete with these, uh, with the longer range shots if you just take a mount up. But, you know, I mean, somebody's got a snipper rifle and they, uh, you know, they just staring at you. They already got that pre-aim. There's not a whole lot you can do in that situation. Oh, let's pop him. This thing, it does, I mean, it's melting fast. For all I know, this thing could have got a wee bit of a buff. Uh, since the last time I used it because I, after I got this thing gold I've pretty much avoided it up until like just testing out and redoing stuff for this video like redoing um you know different variations and setups oh my god we got that guy right here we got this guy right here let's hit him with the old hip fire and there you go that wasn't a very that that wasn't actually a very good uh, hip fire at all but I mean like I said it, it's about that fire rate bro you just get so many rounds down range so fast especially whenever you like you actually are aimed down sight you know, you can just, I mean, you just outgun people constantly. Even, like, even up close, if you're pre-aimed, you can definitely outperform uh, a lot of the subs and stuff just because of how fast the fire rate is on this thing. So, let's see. We we, we, we rocking with 65 kills. I'm guessing that some of these guys are going to push. Either that or my teammate's going to pop through here and get absolutely lasered or not. Okay, well, maybe they don't. Maybe they won't smoke. All these kids are on this wall, ain't they? Are they still on the wall? Okay, well, that guy's hopping over. He don't know what game he's playing. Look, we don't even have to stop shooting. Like, that right there, no skill involved in that. I take no pride in that three-piece, but you know what? We got it, so, I mean, we might as well be happy about it. Let's just pop a reload. The reload time for this could be a little bit quicker, like, off the rip. Is there anybody still here? Oh, okay, that's a teammate. So, we spawned on... Well, he's spawning over there. Okay, cool beans. Let's pop this UAV up in the sky, see if we can get a hit off that. That guy's, that guy's got to be legally blind because I was just chilling right there that whole time, lighting up his teammates and everything. He done absolutely nothing about it. Maybe he just didn't like him. You never know. You never know what kind of beef you got going on on a uh, on a teammate side. Okay, boom, pop him in the noggin. That is the same guy, the Russian with the eyeball nipples. You can't do nothing with anybody that uses that god dang skin. I'm telling you, they just got something out. Like, the go whoever using the ghost skin that I'm rocking, and then you got the, the, the hairy eyeball nipple Russian fella. Like, it's just constantly, I mean, it, it's just, there's they, they got something going on for sure. Like, there's some, like, pent-up tension. Like, it's 100% personal between them two. But we'll see if we can, if we can represent our character skin the best of our ability. See, look! I, same same one. Same. Can we get this flag? Thank you. We need the points. I mean, we deserve to be at the top of the leaderboard, in my opinion, but I am a wee bit biased. So, we got this guy on B. Come on, Pokey Alley. Oh. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to nade it. We got a teammate over there holding down B to the best of his ability. Let's see if we can get these guys coming up underneath this bottom section. I have a hard time telling if, like, people are in office or if they're just... Like I'm gonna lay he had a shotgun, and he just got done, did, went, and beat by an LMG from World War II. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if that's to say how good this gun is or how sucky that Origin 12 is. Let's pop that Russian first, because we know he's the one we got to worry about. We got this guy popping in. I mean, this is a solid lobby, because these guys aren't really using too many guns that can really contest this LMG. So, I mean, it's kind of... It's a nice little showcase for this gun. Like, what's KD looking like? What? I, I don't want to spray paint. I want to look at my. I want to look at my watch game. So twenty and nine going to be in it with about a two point KD. Hopefully by the time we get done with the end of this match. And he's at the. Is he at the plywood? Let's see if he pushes. He's got to push that plywood side, bro. Well, god dang, we just got unibombed with a grenade. Okay, let's just let's just peek out to the side. Okay, so he's not on. Okay, well somebody was on that little peak right there. Oh, got that right there. Ain't nothing but. Dude, I thought whenever they added, you know, ARs and subs to the uh, to the gulag instead of like the shotgun stuff, I wouldn't like to deal with the Origin 12 for a while because why would anybody use it? And then I'm hopping in a game and shoot. I'm throwing that back. I'm getting the lag spike at the same time. 
It's probably just going to cook it for 10 years and just eat a grenade in my hand. Okay, I feel like they should be pushing this A side. I mean, since this gun is meant to run with that 50-round mag stock, it's like if you use that and then you go to the 100-round mag, you're definitely going to realize that you have a surplus of ammunition. This guy's going to push through. Watch this, look. Or is he, he going to take the chicken way out and hit that flipping... There's the Russian again! I, did I swear, that's got to be one of like Vladimir Putin's like unknown children or something, just just chilling along the side. We're going to get both of them, get a nice little two-piece. Ain't no way we're going to get top of the leaderboard. Though. We just got a teammate that's just absolutely running through these kids, and I'm glad for him. I don't know, what what is he using? I'm going to see if I can catch his name. I'm going to something another. He's probably using an AR or sub, I guess. That's what I'd say. I mean, you have to admit, this gun right here with this setup, like, I would just say it's comparable to, you know, a really, like, a slower ADS AR setup. Uh, but you just have that. God dang it, I knew somebody's gonna clip me from that right side. But no, you just have the added benefit of, uh, you know, of the 100 round drum mag and just how, just how well this thing is accuracy wise and control wise. Boop, let's pop both of them guys. Mount it up. I mean, there's no contest. As long as you can hold on to, like, wherever somebody's chilling, even if they're on a head camp, like, you should have no issue winning the gunfight. Oh, there he is. Let's hit a little hip fire shot. If he didn't have a sniper right there, I would have got the cock, let me tell you. But we done it to him. There he is again. That right there, did that Russian character have, like, suspenders on? We got two snipers. And then there's the C4, though. <sighs> Deep breaths, baby. Woo -sa, woo -sa. Let's No connection. There it is, baby. AT&T at its finest. Let's go. Let's throw a grenade over into junkyard. And it ain't even about time. We just wait until these flags get capped. We cap them with the two flags. This map, this game should be over right quick, fast, and hurry. So I'm just going to mount and shoot in case that guy's there. Okay, that guy got got. I don't know if that other guy's going to peek it and try to contest since he knows I'm here. And we got somebody right here, but I'm prone blocked. Come on. You know what? Let's try the dual wielder netty again. Boom, there it is. That's where the, that right there is the dual wheel Renetti at its finest. Peek it. Please peek it. Through the wall, baby. I didn't know the, I, I didn't think the Renetti had any penetration in the Akimbo setup. I don't know. I mean, not, I don't know why it wouldn't. There's that guy. I mean, I hate to be rocking with the Renetti on this flipping, you know, LMG video, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. We're going to be in this in the 30s, maybe. Well, not even be, well, no, we ain't going to be able to hit 40. We triple capping these pussies right now. Let's just slide in, lay down, see what we got going on over here. See, like, going with the tack laser with this one's definitely not a good idea because pre aiming is, like, going to be just a huge, huge fact. Is that guy spawned? Like right there, he really did. 34 kills. I have no clue what my deaths are looking like, but that was a very solid game for this LMG. I've definitely done better uh, class setups for better LMGs and had a worse performance, normally due to lag. So you know, I'm gonna just not not discuss that before I get frustrated. But anyways, there you have it, guys. For those of you working on camos, anybody that's new, that's the best way to rock and roll with this LMG from what I've found in my time using it. And that right there was a pretty good showcase of that. Uh, so, yeah, be sure to hit me up in the comments with the weapons you, need, you want me to redo. I've redone just about every weapon now, like a second or, or third or fourth time for a lot of them. So, you know, just search up the vids on the channel. Uh, be sure to thumbs up on this and subscribe if you haven't already. Share with your friends. And until the next one, adios.